Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a model in Odoo. A model is basically a database table. So we will start by creating a student.student .student model for our student management module, which will simply store the student details. So let's start to create our first model named student.student. .student. So go to PyCharm. And here in our module, create a directory named models. Now we need to turn this directory into a Python package. We know that to turn a simple directory to a Python package, we need to create a dunder init.py file in that directory. So let's create that file. In it okay now this is a Python package in this directory we will create our model so for that I will create a file named student and in this file we will create our model to create a model at the very first stage we have to import something from Odoo so from Odoo, import fields and models. Now we need to create a class named student. This class will work as our model and this class will inherit from models dot model class. Inside this class, we need to create underscore name attribute which will hold our model technical name which will be a student dot a student this name is very important for any further database operations we need to refer our model using this name on only a student dot a student now we need to create underscore description attribute which will hold a short description about this model so I will keep it very simple like a student info. Now the main thing start. We need to create all the necessary fields for this model. Fields are nothing but columns of a database table. So for our student table, we can have different types of fields or columns. Like we can have name, a student ID, image, date of birth, gender, email, phone, address, then guardian name, guardian phone, and admission date. So let's create all these fields one by one. First I will create the name field. Now here we need to define the data type of this field. But what do I mean by data type? The data type simply means what type of data this particular field will store. So, uh, the name of a student will store character type of data. So, we will use the Odoo's built in character method, which is inside fields, fields dot character. And this method can accept different types of keyword argument. But for here, for now, I will, st I will use the string keyword argument and the value of this string keyword argument will be name this name value of this string keyword argument will be shown in the tree and form view of this particular model but we will create the tree and form view in a later video for now just follow the process now we will create the student id field the data type of this field will be character and I will set the string as student ID. We can have the student ID like this, ST001 or uh, ST002, something like this. So all of these things are strings. So we will use here character method. 
then we will create the image the data type of this field will be what binary because image is a binary file as the string i will use image now we will create date of birth this will be a dead dead type of field string date of birth then i'll create the field gender which will be of very fixed type of values like there will be uh, three type of values male female or other so we can use the selection data type selection this method accepts a list of tuples where the first item of the tuple is the database value and the second value of this tuple will be shown in the view so i will set the first value as female and the second value uh, second value as male let's start with okay it's okay no problem now male male and the third one is other this one is done but we need to add the string and i will go for gender now we'll create a field named email which will be just character type of field fields dot character and the string will be email then we will create the phone field phone number field fields it will also be a corrected type of field because there are different types of phone numbers across the world so you don't know what could be a phone number what is what could be the format of a phone number so phone number address this will be a long size of text so we will use the text method and as the string i will use address here then we will create guardian name which will be a character field string value will be guardian name then we will create guardian phone this will also be a corrected type of field guardian phone then the last one is admission date fields dot date and admission date so all the fields are created successfully so this is our model now if we save and reload our odoo server and upgrade our module now the model should be created if we go to before that i'll and i'll need to enter to the debug mode
and if i go to settings and then technical from here if i go to models now we should find our model here if we search using the model name which is student to student but what is this we can't find our model here but we have created a little ego we have created this model but what is the problem why can't we see the model in this in this list okay let's break it down when odoo starts to look for all the python files in a in a in a module it starts that journey from the root directories dunder init.py file which is this file but when odoo comes here it does not find anything we didn't specify anything that says to odoo that hey odoo come here and from here find our model and load it we didn't say anything like that so now we need to say or specify that path of our model so i will, I will say like more from dot import the the package in which our student.py file is created which is models models but what is this dot here well our dunder init.py and this models package are in the same directory or at the same level that is why we're saying that from dot or from the same directory import models now odoo will go to here in this models package and from here it will jump into this uh, models packages uh, dunder init.py file but here also we didn't specify the path of our student.py file so we need to specify that path here again from dot import student so let's break it down from dot which means that our dunder init.py and student.py are at the same level or in the same directory so it's saying that from this from the same directory import a student so now odoo will go to this student.py and yes odoo has finally found our model and our model will now successfully be loaded by odoo now if we reload our server and upgrade our module hopefully we will be see our models in the models list okay now upgrade our module upgrade it now if we go there which is technical and models and now if we search by our model name now you can see our model is successfully created if we click on this and look for the field tab here you see all the fields that we created here name from name to admission date all are listed in these fields besides those there are some other fields that are created like id write date write uid but we didn't create those but why are they here what happened is that odoo itself created these other fields for us so these fields are also necessary for further database operations so we have successfully created our first model named the student dot student for our student um, management module so i hope you have understood everything that i have shown here so for today this is it i will see you in the next one and thank you for watching this video.